The tension spring is part of your saw's lower blade guard assembly. The spring applies tension to retract the guard back over the blade after a cut. After years of use, the tension spring can fail, usually breaking. Replacing the tension spring is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the blade from the saw. With the blade removed, I can remove the inner flange. The ring is behind the inner flange. I'll use some pliers to remove it. Now I have access to the retaining ring, and I'll go ahead and remove it. Now I can remove the guard from the hub, and disconnect the tension spring. Now I can remove the old tension spring, and install the new one. Now I can reinstall the guard. I'll attach the spring, place the guard over the hub, and now secure it with the retaining ring. As I install the retaining ring, I need to make sure that the safety guard is not sitting over the top of the rubber bumper. The bumper should be exposed. I'll open the guard up and use my pliers to expand the ring. Then I'll place the ring in the groove on the hub. Now I'll reinstall the ring. I place the ring over the arbor, and it should sit down against the bearing. And I'll reinstall the inner flange. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the blade. And that's how easy it is to replace the tension spring on your circular saw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.